Hi, welcome to Pipes Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you today. I'm kind of excited. I got a bunch of new stuff that I haven't seen anybody haul, and I was surprised to find it. So I got one of these because I saw this thing at um, the store where they use these for file folders, and I thought that is beautiful. So it's one of those like jot down your your like learning pad for your alphabets and numbers and they did them as file folders for journals and I thought oh my god those are beautiful so I got one because I think it'll be really beautiful to stamp on and stuff and I got that and it's let's see 60 sheets so that's plenty for a little while and then I let's see here where do we start I got this black duct tape and I got this because I'm working on some notebooks and stuff little tiny notebooks for my fairs that I've got coming up and I love to have the littles on my desk I'm not my desk my table for the fairs and this kind of reminded me if I can get this off of here well first I should tell you how long it is 100 1.89 inches by 7 yards so 21 feet definitely plenty and it's such a beautiful black color for doing oh my goodness there is a lot of packaging on there for doing the notebook so i think it, it kind of will look like a um what do you call it composition book oh i peeled that up there didn't mean to do that but i thought doing it on the spine of them let me show you so I have them here. So I thought doing it on the spine would be really cute. Let's see if I can approximate. And I think you can tear this duct tape as well. You can. That helps a lot. So I thought it would be really cute to make them like the composition books. Uh, it's the back of this one, so I have a lot of tape on there. But how cute is that going to be? Now that I got it all stuck together on the top here <laughs> and the bottom. Didn't want that. Kind of approximated. So I thought that would be really cute. If I can get it to cut all the way across here. not the sharpest scissors <laughs> they're what I call my junk scissors so they're not very happy to cut very sticky things so I thought that would be really cute make them look like mini composition books and I was using washi tape I'm gonna use washi tape but I really like the look of that tape on there really pretty right so I have them in this size, and then this size, and then there's another size here somewhere. Here we are, and that size. So I'm going to put the tape on the spines of those to make them look like mini composition books once they're all like finished up and everything. But I wanted to share what I plan on doing with them. Really cute, right? So i got to trim all those up. But those are going to be really adorable when they finish. So I thought that would be cute and... It was $1.25, and the tape is pretty good so far. And I got some new stuff that I haven't seen at mine. They had colored index cards. I have not seen these at mine, but I have seen some people haul them. Are those the prettiest colors? And I think they're lined as well. So they are the 3.5 by 5 or eight centimeters by 13 you get yellow green pink and blue and they are ruled so i thought these would be really nice to put in some stuff like do up some altered index cards with really pretty colors i love the yellow i'm a sucker for the yellow ones on those really pretty color so I was happy to find those and then I got some more of the paper packs 
but we'll look at those after because I bought four more of them. And there's only a couple pieces in here that I love, so we'll look at those after because they're going to be in there. And then I needed to refill my tape. I love this tape. And I used my last roll on my tape dispenser, so I had to get more, so I got that. Now, the rest of this stuff is all new. I have not seen anybody haul them yet. And I bought one of each color on these that they had because these are great for projects. They have a little pocket here, so you can shove, like your ephemera in here like that and then you have that big zip there you can shove the larger pieces of paper that you're going to use for a project in there so i thought that was really nice and they can go into a binder because they have the little clips i'm not going to use them as that they're going to go on my shelf like this and i love that they're th four different colors but they're really cute it's two pockets um 9.45 inches by 11 and a half inches really nice that's the code for them Let's see if i can get it without that like shininess there that's the code so i love them i may get more depending on the colors um and how they work if they have more colors even if they don't i might grab four more because these are great for projects to do like the um, come collage with us I can put the stuff in here and have the information piece here so my little like paper there can go in there and it can even fit on the other side so I know that this is the come collage with us and then the, the deck of the year and all of them that would be perfect right so grab those and like I said I have not seen them hauled anywhere yet and then I found this. It's a pom-pom maker. Has all the instructions on the back for those. I've never seen these before. It's about 2.4 inches it says. And then it's got everything. You loop your yarn around the pom-pom maker. Cut the yarn wrapped around the pom-pom maker. Use yarn to tie around the pom-pom maker. And trim the pom-pom. <laughs> so I was really happy about that. Let's see how well this baby works so let me give you the code for it first so that's the code there but I've never seen these there never I don't even know how they work I'm guessing oh you open oh and you open and you can twist and turn <laughs> so I'm guessing it goes like that so that is something I definitely will take a look at. Loop the round all around the pom pom maker. Oh, okay. So yarn's gonna go here on this part here and this part here. Then you're gonna put them back like that and put a yarn through the center, like right here, through that center piece. I'm guessing. It looks like that and then you open it up and your pom-pom is free to go so we'll try that together i think see if it works good then i found these okay so this is a really gorgeous twine natural jute cord um, twine and it is 2.8 ounces 80 grams that's the code for it and it is a gorgeous color I love that it's got that little baggie on there so I'm gonna see if I can get that so you can see isn't that color gorgeous really really pretty it's like a tan the jute color and then the blue in there I thought that was really pretty and it pulls right from the center how gorgeous is that going to be on some projects? Let me just tuck that right back in just like that. Beautiful. So I saw these. These are new papers at the Dollar Tree. You get 24 sheets and they, it says they are six by six. 
So let's pop this one open first. We'll do the fun one. And I'll give you the code for that. So that's the code. Oh no, this is the code over here. So this is the code right here. And I thought, how beautiful are these papers? So the package cover, the last time we got papers, the package cover was not that great. Oh, they're a cardstock. All it says on there is crafting paper pack. It's cardstock. Oh, I love that. So we got the polka dots. Looks like we got two of each. And the colors seem to match. Donut sprinkles. That one kind of looks like yarn. Wow. <laughs> that one's really bright. Polka dots. This, if you hold it this way, it reminds me of those beaded curtains I had when I was a kid. Loved those. I love that one. Oh, mermaid scales. I uh, could have used that one a couple of weeks ago. Stars. Oh, honeycomb. So, oh, that one's divvying, huh? That one's a little divvy. Oh, I love this one too. This was the only one that does not match that color. The only one that doesn't match the color on there, but the rest of them look like they match pretty good. The only one, but I love it better this one. I think it looks prettier with this color than with that color. I mean, that's a pretty color too, but I'm partial to this color. So there's that one. I love those and cardstock at that. So much nicer. So this is the code for the other one right here, um, right there by my pin, my finger. That's the code for this one. And I'm, if this one is cardstock, that's going to be even better having them both cardstock. I hope it matches. I kind of did the package like this to see if it would match. Oh, ooh, that looks almost like the ink stuff we did last week, I think it was, with the envelopes. Or this past week. How gorgeous is that? Oh, I should have bought two. I should have bought three or four of these. Oh, I love this. And it's cardstock, too. How gorgeous is that one? Oh, I should have bought more. I love these. Look at that one. I should have bought more of these. Oh, that's so pretty. Ooh, swirly. <laughs> oh, look at that. That looks like a paint pour with all the different cells in there. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, we're going to be in Concord next week for an appointment. And I think I may need to stop and grab more of this one. That is beautiful. Because we went to three different um, good Dollar Trees. Goodwills too, but Dollar Trees. And this was the only one that I found these at. The one in Concord. Those are gorgeous. Love these ones. I haven't seen these hauled anywhere yet. Really, really pretty. And cardstock to boot. Now the paper packs. Y'all seen me get these before and there are certain papers in them that I wanted. So I'm always looking at these, trying to find certain papers. And when I find them, I grab them. I wanted, oh, I saw this blue one. This blue one is gorgeous. However, I didn't see all these colors under it. How gorgeous is that blue? I didn't have this one. So I thought, oh, I want that blue. Isn't that pretty? All those fibers. Love fiber papers and creating with them. But it came with orange. How pretty is that? Oh, that one's a surprise. That gorgeous, gorgeous orange. This is one of my favorite orange colors. How pretty is that? And then oh, there is one single, oh, listen to that. How pretty does that sound? 
one orange you each. I think it's one. We'll see. Yep, it's one. How pretty is that? It's like a peachy orange. Then we have a vibrant, like, oh, there's more in here. We have like a vibrant orangey red. Is that one the same? This top one looks slightly different, doesn't it? Like it's a red and this is like an orange red. I love this pack. Look at the threads in there. Love that. And this one just feels like construction paper. And then I saw this blue paper. It kind of reminded me of the handmade paper. And it's got those specks. And again, that they're not the same color. <laughs> I thought they were. They're slightly shade difference. But look at all those fibers in there. Really gorgeous. And then there's, whoops. There is more orangey construction paper. Quite a bit in that one. And then these are gorgeous. Look at those embossed papers. Really pretty. It's like a textured wallpaper and it's on both sides. Those are pretty. I like those. These are cute. They're a little bit textured. This one is definitely fibrous. Like you can see when you tear it. Really pretty. Oh, there's some. Wow, this one's really stiff paper. That's got to be a really, really good weight to it. I love that it's got a design in there. I think there's four of them. Yeah, there's four of those. Those are nice heavyweight paper. And then check that one out. That one feels like it was soaked, squished, and then uh, put back. Really pretty. And then there is that gorgeous blue. So that was just one pack. I got two, three more. So I saw this one. I really loved, oh, oh, more red. I really loved the look of this paper. And it feels a little bit like cardboard. It's got a nice texture to it. And it's got gray specks, almost like stone, like grayish, like newsprint when you put the newsprint into water and soak it to turn it into more paper. This is what that reminds me of. Really pretty. We have more red love these colors really pretty on there i'm gonna put that with that red from the other one there and then there's more shapes to that it's kind of got like silver in it really pretty <coughs> apologize about that sorry <laughs> So then there is this really pretty pink rose color. And that one feels like it's handmade paper as well. Love that. And then there's more of that blue. Really pretty. And it looks like it was in several packs because there's some of that there. And then there's some here. So this one looks like it was cut into several packs. Not the best cut job either. It's like on an angle but it's really pretty paper. And then there's more there. And then, oh, that one. It feels a little bit like construction paper, but it's got a softer texture to it. It's like alternating here because the black feels the same way. I don't hate it. I think it's kind of pretty. I think it's really pretty on that one and then there's more black now this one does not feel anything like this one this one is like a uh, like a step down from chipboard feel this one you can't even hear let's see if it rips good oh it's got a nice rip to it it's got a little bit of fibrous to it it's really pretty then there's some like orangey oh and it's glittery on both sides then the brown and then more of that glitter 
paper there with that blue. So that's that one. And we got one more to go after this one. And I wanted this paper here on the top for this one. Because I thought, how pretty is that? It's got like a, a silvery tone, undertone. A little bit of a silver undertone in it, like sparkly. But it has that feeling of handmade paper. And then these two are that stiff paper. Again, but I love this color, rustiness. There's more of that blue. And then this one. Oh, look at that. There is so much in this one. So pretty. Listen to that texture. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I love that there's so much of it. Then we have this pretty paper again really gorgeous oh there's some blues in here it's very crinkly I like that with these ones and I love the blue it's like a softer pastel blue look at that can you see that pattern on there it's like swirls oh right there really swirly then there is oh look at that it's on this side too it's like double-sided so it must have been embossed really pretty it's stiff though how many did we get I mean they're cute papers but they're not too keen on the color oh look at that it's two different colors hmm that's weird I've never seen it like that before with these kind of papers normally it's not two different colors there's some more of that is this that stiff one? It is. More of that black stiff paper. And then we've got some couple pieces of just a, it's not very soft. Another shiny. And then this one. I was so excited when I found this one because I think it has some of those eco dyed papers in it. Okay. Start here. Oh, oh, it has some eco dyed paper in it. I'm so excited. I really love the eco dyed papers. So I'm gonna take that and flip it. We'll do that last so you can see all those beautiful papers. Some more of that blue paper. There's a lot of that. Sparkly, another shiny, more of the black chipboard, more of the blue, more of the black more of that spirals more of those gorgeous coppery papers oh that one's new haven't seen that one yet more of the blue oh more of the coppery this one has like a brown tone to it whereas this one has more of a rose gold rose tone to it but they're the same type of paper Of these papers they're so pretty oh can you see that one all right so this is like a pale yellow it's not eco dyed that's on the bottom even if it's one sheet I get so excited about the eco dyed papers look at this and there is a lot of this one. Oh, there's a little peak of something else in here Oh, how pretty. Can you see that gold specks in that paper? How pretty. That could be like an ASMR with some good music. Just shining that back and forth. Oh, and it's only one. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to hoard that one. All right, so I think I only got like two of the eco dyed papers. But how gorgeous. Can you see that? It's got like gold, silvery white threads through it how pretty is that and there is a lot in here oh those are gorgeous look at those I love that you can see all those through there and it's almost transparent a little transparency listen 
Oh, that is beautiful. It almost sounds like a sheet in the wind in a spring day. How it like rustles back and forth on the clothesline. Huh, you can almost smell the spring rain. That is beautiful. And we have some eco dyed. I absolutely love the eco dyed papers. Isn't that gorgeous? Really beautiful. It's only two sheets, but it's well worth it. That those leaves on there are so beautifully done. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about all these papers. I got so many papers from this haul. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for watching and joining me going through all these papers. I truly appreciate you um, being here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.